Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, triangle uh, ABC and this uh, semicircle with the center O put together as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this angle uh, ACB is uh, 45 degrees and this uh, chord uh, DE is uh, 10 units and furthermore uh, this uh, AB is the diameter of this uh, semicircle and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded uh, semicircle please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, yellow shaded semicircle so therefore we are going to calculate uh, the radius uh, of uh, this uh, semicircle first and now in this uh, next step I have connected uh, these points B and uh, D as you can see and now let's recall the Thales uh, theorem according to this theorem if uh, A, B and D are our three distinct points uh, on the circle where the line AB is the diameter of the circle then uh, the angle ADB is a right uh, angle in other words it's going to be a 90 degree angle and now let's focus on our given uh, problem we can see we got these three distinct uh, points uh, A, B and D on this uh, semicircle and uh, AB is the diameter then according to this uh, Thales theorem uh, our this angle uh, ADB is going to be a 90 degree angle in other words uh, our this uh, triangle uh, ADB is a right uh, triangle and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, CDB and we know that this uh, angle is uh, 90 degrees and this uh, whole uh, straight angle is uh, 180 degrees so no wonder this angle uh, CDB is a 90 degree angle in other words, uh, this uh, triangle uh, CDB is a right uh, triangle. And now let's recall the triangle uh, sum theorem. According to this theorem, the sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. And now we can see in this triangle uh, CDB, this angle is 45 degrees, this angle is 90 degrees. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be 45 degrees. Uh, degrees so therefore our this angle uh, CBD is uh, 45 degrees and moreover we can see that this uh, triangle uh, CDB is an isosceles uh, triangle as well since uh, this angle uh, is 45 degrees and this angle is uh, 45 degrees uh, as well so therefore uh, this side length uh, CD is going to be equal to this side length uh, BD and in this uh, next step I have connected uh, this center O with these uh, points uh, D and uh, E and now let's make an observation we can see this uh, OD is the radius of this uh, semicircle and likewise this OE is the radius of this uh, very same semicircle as well let me label uh, these uh, radii this radius uh, OE as lowercase r and likewise this radius so OD as uh, lowercase r as well and now let's recall the central angle uh, theorem according to this theorem the angle at the center is uh, twice the angle at the circumference and here let's focus uh, on this uh, arc uh, DE and this angle uh, at the circumference uh, subtends uh, this uh, arc uh, at 45 uh, degrees and we can see that this angle uh, at the center subtends the very same uh, arc uh, as well so therefore according to this uh, central angle uh, theorem this angle at the center is going to be twice of uh, 45 degrees so therefore this angle uh, DOE is going to be 90 degrees since this angle uh, DOE is a 90 degree angle so therefore our this triangle uh, DOE is a right uh, triangle and here's our next step let's focus on our this uh, right triangle uh, DOE 
we can see our side lengths of this uh, triangle are 10 lowercase r and lowercase uh, r as well and now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle to solve for this uh, radius r and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call our longest leg as our side c I'm gonna call this side lowercase a and this side lowercase b so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, r square plus uh, r square equals to 10 square. Let's go ahead and combine the like terms on the left hand side. So we are going to have 2r square equal to 10 square is 100. Let me divide both sides by 2 to isolate uh, r square. So therefore uh, we can see that our uh, r square value turns out to be 50 so thus our r square value turns out to be 50 and here's our final step and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded uh, semicircle as you can see over here and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equal to pi r square where r is the radius and since we are dealing with the semicircle so therefore uh, the semicircle uh, area is uh, going to be equal to this area pi r square divided by 2 so therefore our this uh, yellow semicircle area is going to be simply pi divided by 2 times uh, r square value is uh, 50 so therefore i'm going to just write down uh, 50 over here and if we simplify the right hand side uh, this uh, area of this uh, yellow semicircle is going to be equal to 25 pi square units and if we put this uh, area in a decimal form so the area is going to be approximately equal to 78.54 square units as well so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this uh, yellow shaded semicircle turns out to be 25 pi square units and that is going to be approximately equal to 78.54 square units and that's our final answer Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.